Apple, Quest, and Valve are the three contenders for the standalone VR headset in 2023. This year will see fierce competition between these brands for supremacy in the virtual reality industry. In 2023, each of these companies will release a next-generation VR product, and in order to determine who might win the competition to control our virtual future, we will bring every piece of information we can today. Now, get ready for some amazing VR news. Apple has been eagerly trying to break into the AR and VR markets, and they have been developing their own mixed reality device for some time. But with a 2023 launch date predicted, the Apple VR will be here soon, and there has been a good deal of information leaked that we can base our predictions on. This VR device is rumored to be going on sale in June for a whopping $3,000, which is a ridiculous price. However, given that this is an Apple product, you would anticipate Apple-level capabilities. According to the information, these include two 4K micro OLED displays, a 120-degree field of view, dedicated 5 nanometer processing, a GPU, and ultra-low latency streaming. And this VR headset has the potential to be an absolute beast. Additionally, the headset will have inside-out tracking with more than a dozen cameras to monitor your face, eyes, and movement. We're able to configure that this is not going to be a gaming-focused headset because it will also specialize in pass-through kick capabilities for productivity and hand tracking, which is supposedly meant to be the primary way you control the device. Those specifications are very impressive. Knowing Apple and its market, however, this is a laptop alternative or a streaming-capable method of working remotely. Sadly, Apple's ecosystem is highly restricted, expected to be isolated from anything you know if they do decide to enter the VR gaming market. Although, the majority of you are gamers, and that's where the focus of these other headsets come in. I could be wrong, but this is what we can expect from Apple. With unmatched price and performance, the Quest has been dominating the VR market. Like with every Quest headset, the specifications are readily available. And I'd say the likelihood of us releasing this headset later this year is 90%. More AR-related features will be included in the Quest 3, similar to Apple VR. And the reason for that is probably to depart from the typical use case in gaming. The Quest 3, which is expected to go on sale for $400, will reportedly have a resolution of 2064 by 2208 per eye, a 30% improvement over the Quest 2, but obviously inferior to Apple's VR headset. The Quest will also receive an optics upgrade thanks to pancake lenses, which are already a valuable addition when using the Pico 4 and the Quest Pro. The difference between clarity is like night and day right away. The Quest tries to be mostly focused on being a standalone device, which is the main distinction between the Index and Apple's upcoming virtual reality headset. Because of this, it will make use of the new Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 chipset, giving it twice the graphic processing power of the Quest 2, which is a little annoying given that the Quest Pro doesn't even use this chipset. As a result, it will have an advantage in terms of raw power. But if you consider face and eye tracking to be important features, it will make up for that in terms of raw power. There isn't much information available about the controllers, but I anticipate that they will be comparable to the Quest 2 with the option to upgrade to the Pro controllers, which are totally different devices. The Quest 3 will also have a 120Hz refresh rate out of the box, which is something that should be standard for all VR headsets and has always been the case with the Index, which brings us to the headset I'm most looking forward to. The best PC VR headset is, in some cases, still the Index. The next VR headset from Valve, a company that takes its time with its products and games, will be held to the same high standard. According to leaks, the Deckard will have 4K micro OLED displays, a wide field of view, and be set up to use Wi-Fi 6, making it an excellent headset for wireless PC gaming. 
It will resemble the Apple VR headset in these respects. More intriguingly, it appears that the Deckard will use the XRQ and APU chipsets from Qualcomm to handle graphic performance, making this a highly efficient standalone headset. Finally, the Deckard will have internal eye tracking, just like the Quest and inside-out tracking as well. According to the available data, this is a very capable standalone and wireless PC VR headset, but the exotic part is the speculation. The code name Deckard may refer to the Index 2's use of a handheld PC gaming device with an interface similar to the Steam Desk. Now, if a company like Valve can put in the effort to figure out how to use eye tracking for foveated rendering, then we might see a standalone VR headset that's compatible with PC VR. This may just be fantasy though. However, Valve is renowned for its innovation, and a headset like this would significantly outperform any rivals. The Deckard is expected to cost the same $1,000, and according to the usual release schedule, it will be available this year. But as one might expect from Valve, it remains a mystery. Now, having said that, which of these three headsets are you most looking forward to? Do let me know in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.